baby, baby. Headed to the beach, Eagle Beach. They got like the bathing suit. What are we cheering to? To health and a wonderful and happy and safe vacation. Yep. Yeah. Powerpuff Girls, we're born. So we're on Eagle Beach. And we're stopping at this little food truck right here that has Mahi Mahi for $15. The place where we parked, I think it was free parking. Um, and the guy there was trying to um, sell us a beach chair and a, and a thing for $50 for two. That's ridiculous. That's the craziest price I ever heard in my life. So we're gonna walk down this strip while they make our food to see what the prices are further down. for more info this is so cute <laughs> oh my god yeah our fucking seats are in the water so you put your shoes over here and then look at this isn't this the cutest my little chocolate droplets <laughs> Hold up, hold up, get our feet. Yes! Okay, get Okay. So we got the snapper. It came with vegetables and mixed greens. Joy changed out her potatoes and got truffle, what, Joy? Truffle, truffle potatoes? potatoes? Yeah. She got truffle potatoes. And mommy also got the regular thing. I am highly disappointed that there is no head. It is filet. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy and myself. Happy birthday to you. Wherever. You have to pay first, and then you get a number. Chocolate dip. Oh, and rainbow sprinkles. Yes. And then this is the top floor. This is so cute. So, I, y'all know I don't eat. Y'all know I don't eat meat, right? But Joy, I can tell them whatever I want to tell them. I don't eat meat. I'm a fake vegan. And I wanted to try KFC because they always say KFC is good in the Caribbean. So I got some. I wanted two thighs and two wings. They actually gave me four thighs and two wings. So I don't know if they misheard me, whatever. It was 15 US dollars. So. Try a piece of chicken with me. It's cool. It's cool. Say cool. Say cool. I need a little ketchup or something. Alrighty, y'all. So we are headed out. We are picnicking. So the Airbnb had a cooler and they have a mom has because we're not paying for these beach chairs no more okay so we're headed to baby beach
So we're at Baby Beach now, which is literally right next door to the Rum Reef. And my mom found a beautiful little spot right under all these trees. So the shade is immaculate. And look at this. I don't normally like to get people, but I just wanted to show you how nice it is. And there's plenty of people underneath here. And I just completely set up. We have our cooler. So I got some cups from the Rum Reef. I'm gonna make my little drinky drink. We got our bread, so I'm gonna make my um, sandwich with the baguette. We have some fried chicken left over from KFC. I don't know if it's hot still, but whatever. And let me show you my little sexy sisters. So far, this is probably the best day in Aruba. I absolutely love Baby Beach. I don't know if you can hear me, because the water's right behind me, but I love Baby Beach. We loved Rum Reef Baby Beach. Rum Reef Bar and Grill, it was so good. Fish with the head on, 10 out of 10. That is the key to my heart, is fish with the head on. Chilled in this water, like I literally went for a swim. I loved it. It's so nice and calm. And you can walk out like a good little distance and the water does not fully submerge you like you're still like right here. We stopped on the side of the road. Oh. Coconut. So Baby Beach is in an area called St. Nicholas, which is kind of looking like their art district. So they offer these mural tours that I kind of saw on TikTok and Expedia and stuff. But of course, you know, not gonna pay for that. So we just decided to pick a little street. And the lady at the gas station was courteous enough to tell us that we just needed to go a little bit further down the street to the other Sitco in St. Nicholas. And we parked and now it's just a whole street of murals. So we're just gonna walk the strip and just take in the beautiful artwork here in Aruba. Today is given like dine in, we about to eat and catch the itis and go to bed. So Joy Googled some stuff and we ended up at this Mexican restaurant that's literally a three minute walk from our Airbnb like we could have walked it. Mom's getting a bowl, Joy's getting a burrito and I'm getting some churros because I'm always fiending for churros. Another thing that I really, really love. And then I kind of wanted some pasta. I looked up something else and there's a seven minute drive and it's a pasta spot. So I got penne vodka, basic, simple. So I'll show y'all our food once we get back to the Airbnb and hopefully a bus, I'm going to sleep. Tomorrow is my birthday eve. Hello, babe. Okay, today is our last final day in Aruba and it is officially my birthday Eve. And we're headed out to, um, my mom wants to stop at the Aloe Museum and gift shop, which is like just right down the block from us. Then we're gonna go back to Aradnistad, hop on the trolley, which hopefully is running 
explore the capital of Aradnistad, head to Palm Beach, and chill. Somewhere in between all of that, we're gonna eat. We just don't know where yet, but we will keep you posted. And how do I look? juice. I bet this tastes disgusting as hell. Uh -huh. So we are in Aradnistad and we are waiting for the trolley. We're by the cruise ships. They're humongous. Look at that. That's one. And then there's another big one over there. The I Love Aruba sign is here. Um, so they say it comes every 30 minutes and they don't know when the last one left. So I figure we're just going to maybe take some pictures by the I Love Aruba sign, taking some of the sites, trying to stay close to this. And there's a local market right behind us, a local market right across the street over there, and there's food over there. Um, yeah. This is the trolley. This is so pretty. All right, we're at the double decker. We're on the top because the bottom is full. This so we're on a trolley, y'all. And we're sitting at the double deck. Where you at, mommy? <laughs> the views is gonna be beautiful. So we're gonna take you guys along for the ride. I think this is just so pretty. This is just so cute. some calamari and Joy and Mommy got some fish soup with cornbread. It looks like cassava. I got a Long Island. Mom got the sangria. And Joy got fresh lemonade. Yes! OMG. And Joy got the snapper. Well. All right, Bay. So we are at, we're headed to Palm Beach. We did this paid parking behind us. It's $2 an hour. And we're walking to the beach. Oh, Joy's going somewhere else. Where are you going? Oh, okay. We're just trying to find the opening for the beach because this whole thing is laced with hotels so I feel like they take up most of the oceanfront property for Palm Beach so yeah we at the motel hotel holiday inn all right so all the beaches are public so we walk through the holiday inn hotel let me show you how the views this is cute <laughs> Rosita said the first seat is mine 
This is just so cute. So me and Joy, we're outside. We're um, back by Palm Beach area. And these are the little beaches and clubs and stuff. Bay. so this is the end of the Aruba trip so let me wrap up Aruba Aruba is boring as fuck that is really <laughs> that's the title for me Aruba is boring as fuck um, and I just mean that in the sense that I feel like Aruba is great for families and it's great for couples it's great for couples um, that generally um, enjoy each other and don't need the frills and like the kicks and all of that stuff. It's a very romantic, very calm, very quiet island. Very quiet, like 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 literally quiet, 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 quiet. Um, so I I really feel like if you're just looking for like a getaway to just be by the beach and relax, then this is like a perfect place for you. What I will say is that to me so far of I've only, I haven't been to a lot of Caribbean islands, but for the Caribbean islands I've been to, including the Latin American Caribbean islands I've been to, because I consider Latin Americans to be still Caribbean, like I got some Dominican in me and all that stuff, so I, it's all still Caribbean in my opinion. Um, I think these are the calmest beaches I've ever been to. Like, I mean, like you could just go and like just, and I don't swim yet. And I felt like these were definitely like the calmest. I mean, the waves were calm. The water is pretty shallow. Like you could go out a good distance and just like chill and just have a good time. Like I cannot recall maybe last year when me and Inessa went to St. Martin and we went to, um, I forgot the name of the beach, but it's like, yeah, like this, I have never been in the beach this much on a trip. It's just like chilling in the ocean because ocean scares me. So it's like, yeah, I had a blast. Me and my sister just was like in the water for like hours. Like today we was in Palm Beach for like two hours, chilling, having a great time. So I definitely feel like they top it with the beaches here 100%. Like I'll give that, that to them. The food is absolute trash. Like I would never ever say that Aruba has the best food. Now, my favorite places you definitely probably already seen where we ate today at Redfish and, and um, at Baby Beach um, at Rum Reef Bar and Grill. That was amazing on top of the vibes and the ambiance. Literally a million out of 10. Like, it was so, so good. Um, but, yeah, the accommodation that we have is Airbnb. Like, I absolutely loved it. It was really perfect for just, yet again, like, everything that I said, couples families, people that's just trying to chill. I just feel like Aruba is the island where you're just trying to chill. Like, you're not trying to do nothing crazy. You're just trying to go to the beach, picnic, and chill. So I think that was cool. It definitely kept me on budget, um, given the fact that this is a three-week vacation going into the new year. So I definitely think it was great. But all in all, it's cool. Will I come back to Aruba? Probably not. It's not an island that I will probably come back to unless I like when I have a family and a husband with kids, then y'all going to see me back in Aruba. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I wouldn't even come for me personally, just how I travel. I wouldn't even come here with my man because like I want to get drunk. I want to have a good time. I want to rip the fucking ATVs up. Like, I don't know. I just want to do crazy shit. I'm very adventurous. But um I do like it. I do. I do. It's just, um, I think the thing about visiting any place is figuring out what you like about it and what's best about it for you. So for me, they win on the beaches 100%. So if you are a beach person, you do like to swim, you do like to chill, even snorkel, like then this might be the place for you if you're like, you know, low maintenance. I have high maintenance um, quality, qualities about me sometimes. So, you know, it's cool. 
and it's nice for shopping. It's just a nice, safe, family-friendly, couple-friendly, calm island. But um, anyway, I feel like I've talked enough and I probably will cut some of this out. So thank you so much for watching, Bay. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you put in them comments, happy birthday, Bay. Happy birthday, Gabby. Happy birthday, G Bay. Like, send me all the love. We're finally at um, 500 subscribers. 2024 is the year of monetization. Bitch, I'm making money. Fuck what you heard. And I'm just really excited. I cannot wait to see what we have going on for 2024. Like, shake some ass, bitch. Hold on one second. Let's let's end it off with a little ass shaking. Hold shake your ass. Show me what you working with. Shake your ass. Watch this ass. Shake your ass. Show me what you working with. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, babe.